Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so before I begin, as always, I praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And uh, example four here is really cool. And uh, somehow uh, the examples that are uh, to follow are even cooler. So uh, watch them all, yeah? Okay, okay. So here, what we have to do is uh, figure out what this limit is and show what it is, yeah? Okay, now uh, to do that, uh, let's first uh, show that uh, n times n minus 1 divided by 2 times uh, x squared is less than uh, 1 plus x to the n. Let's first show that that's true uh, for x greater than 0 and n and uh, the positive integers. Yeah? Okay, so why is that true and how can we show that that's true? Well, uh, let's look at this right hand side. I have many videos on the binomial uh, theorem, including the proof of the binomial theorem, so watch them. But yeah, uh, we know that by the binomial expansion formula or the binomial theorem, that 1 plus x to the n is equal to um, n choose 0 and then 1 to the n x to the 0. So that's just 1 times 1, I'm not going to bother writing that plus n choose 1, and then uh, it's going to be um, n choose 1, 1 to the n minus 1, which is just 1, and then x to the first, so I'll write that, and then plus n choose 2, n choose 2, and then it's going to be 1 to the n minus 2, which is just 1, and then times x squared, and then uh, many more terms after this, right? So I'll just write plus dot dot dot. But this doesn't go on forever. It's finitely many times we know, right? Okay, 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 cool. Uh, but this is sufficient to what we want to demonstrate. Now, what is this? Uh, what I've written, uh, just what I've written, the terms I've written. Well, n choose 0 is 1, and then plus n choose 1 is n factorial divided by 1 factorial, which is 1, uh, and then 1 factorial times uh, n minus 1 factorial in the denominator. So the n minus 1 factorial is worth uh, showing. Right, and then plus, uh, what's n choose 2? It's uh, n factorial, right, divided by 2 factorial, and then n minus 2 factorial, and then of course we have this times x squared, and then plus dot dot dot, more terms uh, to show, right? But as I said, we don't need them. Now, uh, clearly 1 is 1, uh, and then n factorial over n minus 1 factorial is n, and then so we have n times x, and then plus uh, this here, well, n factorial is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial. So canceling the n minus 2 factorial in the numerator and the denominator, we can write the numerator as n times uh, n minus 1, and then obviously 2 factorial is just 2 over 2, x squared plus dot dot dot, right? So uh, this is 1 plus x to the n. So 1 plus x to the n uh, has uh, these terms and more, and they're all positive because we said x is greater than 0 and n is a positive integer. And so clearly, this here, which is these guys and more, has to be bigger than just this guy, right? And that's a statement there, right? We, we're saying that this guy alone is less than all of these guys together. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so where to from here? Well, here. So to the end that we want, which is ultimately this guy, right? To the end that we want, um, we can do this. We can pick a specific x in here, a strategically chosen x, and that x is this. Let x equal, let x equal the square root of, uh, let x equal the square root of 2 over n minus 1, right? If we let x equal that and substitute for this x there and this x there, uh, we can turn that inequality into the following, which is the left side is going to be n times n minus 1 over 2, and then x is this, but it's x squared, so it's this squared, and that's going to be uh, 2 over n minus 1. Oh, look here. Boom, 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 boom. So we just get an n uh, when we plug this x into uh, here. Uh, so that's what we get on the left side, just an n. So I could just write that, right? So I just have an n. Uh, on the left side for, I don't need this much space, for uh, this x. And then on the right side, for the same x, right, obviously, for the same x, what do we get? We get uh, 1 plus square root of 2 over n minus 1 uh, to the nth power, right? 
Now, next, if we take the nth root of both sides, then the left side is going to be this. The nth root of n uh, is less than, and the right side, since we've taken the nth root, is just going to be 1 plus uh, square root of 2 over n minus 1. Yeah? Oh, cool. So we found a way uh, to squeeze this guy on the right side. And on the left side, 1 will do the job. Because um, if in here you choose n to be 1, then you get 1. So we have 1 is less than, right? And that's the smallest n we can pick since n is in the positive integers. So we have 1 is less than uh, square, the nth root of n is less than this, right? Okay. Uh, so then what we could do is use the squeeze there, and I'll do it here. So if we write lim is n goes to infinity of 1, it has to be less than lim is n goes to infinity of the nth root of n which is less than lim as n goes to infinity of 1 plus the square root of 2 over n minus 1, right? Okay, clearly this here is 1. So we have 1 is less than our desired limit, which is uh, lim is goes to infinity of the nth root of n, which is less than, what's this limit here? Well, we have 1 plus, as n goes to infinity, this guy's going to go to 0. So you just get 1. And therefore, by the squeeze theorem, our desired limit is equal to 1. This here is equal to 1, yeah? All right, cool. I hope you enjoyed this. And as I said, uh, the examples to come are very fun. So keep watching. Take care.